Hey guys, my goodness, I'm gonna try to do this video again. First time I tried to do this video, I was interrupted by my husband, I was interrupted by the landscapers, and a crazy, I, don't, I think it was a hawk, a crazy hawk went running down this path. So <laughs> if I have footage of that, I will put it in the end of this video because it's hilarious. Okay. I wanted to hurry up and do this video because I don't get a whole lot of time to shoot videos and I just, there's something on my mind that I wanted to get out there. Now, I don't ever really put negative stuff out. Um, I don't comment negatively on people's videos. But yesterday I did comment one thing on a video. It was um, a video by Miranda Sings, and I'm gonna link it below so you guys can watch it and you know make up your own mind about it. But my comment was completely innocent. I mean, to me, it was an innocent comment. And basically what it is, is um, the title of the video was, um, I'm being abused or something like that, being abused. And the video content, it was just her basically fake crying, talking about her, how her mother wouldn't take her to 7-Eleven to get um, an iced coffee or something. I don't know. I understand it's satire. I understand what she was, you know, what she was getting across in the video, just kind of making fun of people who um, take stupid meaningless things and blow them up out of proportion, whatever. But I didn't like the title. Um, I just think it could have been titled something different. And so the, the comment that I made, okay, the exact comment was, I thought the video was funny, however, the title was not. That is my exact comment. Little did I know it was going to start a poop storm. <laughs> it, had I have known that it was going to do that, I wouldn't have said it, trust me. Well, people started saying all kinds of things about how it's satire and get, in a, get a sense of humor and like calling me names, like cursing. And I was like, what? I did get a lot I think right now it's like it's 530 thumbs ups and I did get some people defending me but basically it was just people coming out of the woodwork saying how I'm just stupid and like oh my gosh you would not believe it and the, the comments themselves didn't bother me because I know these people don't know me whatever it is what it is but when I kind of investigated who these people are, oh my gosh, one, okay, one particularly disgusting comment came from a child. I mean, a lot of them were very young. Apparently, Miranda Sings has a very strong teenage following. I didn't know this. Because I, I don't really have that on my channel, and the people that I typically watch don't really have that, so I'm not used to seeing that kind of those kind of comments and I really just took I it took me aback because I, I couldn't I just couldn't understand so I went to this girl's channel to see kind of who she was to try to understand she couldn't have been more than 13 years old and I just immediately felt so sad I was just like heartbroken because number one would she talk to her parents like this? Like, would she want her parents knowing what she's doing online and how she's talking to people? I could be her grandmother, I could be her mother. And I was always taught to respect people, especially your elders. And I just, maybe I am too old. And people were commenting about, I must be old and you must be 30. What? But yeah, I was just like, and I didn't come back with comments like, shut up and you know, I don't, I don't stoop to the, their levels, especially if they're children. I mean, I, I just, that one girl, I just kind of commented, 
you know, I was just like, sweetie, please, you know, think about what you're doing. Would, would you want your parents knowing about how you're talking to people? You know, I just, I felt compelled to like say, hey, you need to think about what you're doing. It just makes you think, you know? I mean, it makes me so sad to think that the young younger generation right now are online talking to people like that and no regard for people's feelings. I, you know, I was always taught do unto others and, oh, it's just, I guess it's kind of compounded with all the craziness, craziness that's going on in the world today with all the shootings and the, oh, it's just, this world is crazy. Like, and I have two kids you know, they're two and three right now. I don't want them growing up and doing things like that on the internet. I mean, they love the computer and they're really good at it too. And I'm thinking to myself, what if they turn out to do that and talk to people like that? And, you know, it's just, it, it bothers me. So I don't know if it bothers anybody else or, or you guys have even thought about it. But yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Now let let me kind of explain about that video and why I said that. Now, if the video was called, you know, titled something like um, "My Mom Hates Me" or "Why Are You Doing This to Me" or you know something like that, but when you take the word abuse and put it on a video like that. I don't know. I think it crosses a line. Um, I am an abuse survivor. I have moved on with my life. I've gotten over that. I'm past it. It doesn't offend me. That video did not offend me, okay? I'm thinking about the person who may be in an actively abusive relationship who is reaching out for help. Maybe they're suicidal. Maybe, the, you know, they just want reassurance from somebody and they go on YouTube and they look up videos and try to get some help or whatever and they come across this video and see this person making light of the situation. I mean, I know she's a comedian, but honestly, does the fact that you're a comedian give you the license to just poke fun at every at anything and everything you want like it gives you permission i don't i don't understand that okay now don't get me wrong i like um, miranda sings and the channel i think it's funny i don't watch it all the time but i just think it should have been called something else that's all just my opinion apparently my opinion is wrong and i'm stupid and whatever uh, i don't know the meaning of satire well i do but sometimes i think it just crosses a line okay maybe i don't like modern comedy i was accused of being too old and not understanding modern comedy well if that's the case i don't want to understand modern comedy because like i don't like pranks i've never liked pranks even when i was young i think you know getting laughs um out of hurting people or you know at someone else's expense i don't i don't think it's right but that is my opinion and i know most people like pranks and but that whatever it is it is what it is i personally don't think that comment was that bad but you would think i made the worst comment in the world i mean but i think what happened was after my comment people started kind of adding fuel and, you know, like lighting a match and someone else would add some lighter fluid and another person would add some more lighter fluid till it got to the point where it was way out of control. But my original comment was pretty innocent. I said, I liked the video, but I didn't like the title. Go figure. So anyway, I'm just putting this out there for you guys and just to... If you pray, pray about it. Pray about the youth today and just, and it, w it wasn't only the young people saying this stuff. It, it was older people too. I think some people just don't mature fully and they don't get it, you know? I don't know. 
just kind of got me. Anybody else have a similar situation happen? Let me know. All right, let me shut up. I have to go get my kids. They're like climbing the walls. It's raining, as you can see. Can't do anything. It's been raining for days. All right, guys, I have so many videos I need to do. I'm gonna do them. I just need to find time. I guess I need to do them in the middle of the night because it's the only time I, I can, you know, do them. All right, let me shut up. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I love you and God bless. Bye. What was that?